<laughs> oh my gosh, we broke him. What's up guys, Jason with Little Guy, Big Reviews. Today is gonna be a really awesome video. We're taking a look at the indestructible shoe. Make sure you smash that like button so you can see how far we put this to the test. Also, all the information and the links will be in the description below. Make sure you stay to the very end because you're gonna see what we do to these boots with this tractor. Let's get started. So you've heard of the indestructible shoe. Well, this is the indestructible boot. It's his bigger brother, and today it's Menace Match with this tractor. Okay, so test number one, we're just gonna run it over and see how it goes. That was actually really awesome. Look at the boot, it still hold up really good. The steel toe didn't bend at all. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this orange, we're gonna shove it deep inside the boot, underneath the steel toe, and we're gonna get the bucket of the tractor, we're gonna press it on top, and hopefully we don't have a huge mess inside the boot. Let's get it. All right, so he's just gonna go ahead and smack it down, and hopefully it doesn't. Oh! No, stop, 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 stop. The orange is safe, and look at the boot. It pierced it, the leather on top, but it did not crush the steel toe whatsoever. That's freaking awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill up the tractor full of bricks, and we're gonna go ahead and just douse it right on top of this boot, and let's see if it's gonna hold up. So far, I'm impressed because we still got an orange. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> That's gonna be so cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and test the rubber on this and see how indestructible it really is. Thank you, Ryobi, even though you didn't sponsor me, but you can next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is scary. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's do one more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so satisfying in an awkward way. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a BB gun and we're gonna try and shoot the leather and see if we can penetrate through it and see how tough the leather really, really is on this stuff. So far, this boot is just taking a beating and it keeps on kicking. Look at that. Didn't even, it just pierced the outside of it, but it didn't make it through the inside at all. Oh, nice. Oh, check that out. It hit the steel toe, but it didn't penetrate it at all. Wow, this it's, thing is dope, huh? All right, so this is the last one we're gonna do. This is gonna be the drag of death. If this can handle everything we put it through, we're gonna take it, just go all the way down and see if it falls apart. Oh my God. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, we broke him. This is what it looks like after we broke it. You can see that the sole is completely ripped off, halfway separated from the shoe. So we put this thing to rigorous, rigorous tests. And now I know you're saying, well, it's indestructible. How come this came off? You're never gonna put a shoe through what we put through this. An example is, this is a boot that I wore for work for about six months. Now this was just standard work, nothing crazy. We didn't put it to the test at all like we did this one. But look at this. You can see that the back heel on this boot it just completely fell off and I was just walking, just random walking and this went off. Now the crazy part is that this boot is comparable to this boot in price. So would you rather have this boot that you can wear for six months and the heel is going to just rip off or would you rather the instructable shoe where if you put it through rigorous tests like we did, which are obviously not going to, this boot is gonna last you a very, very, very long time. I would feel more safer wearing this thing to work outdoors or any kind of functions compared to this one. And before we did this to the boot, I just want you to take a look at. These boots are actually really, really stylish. So they can be worn at work, casual wear, all kinds of stuff like that. So you get style, and safety at the same time. And I always preach safety first to my kids. 
One thing that I have to gripe about with this boot was the insole in this thing, the padding is like super, super thin. I mean, look at that. It's really, really thin. So that's one thing I think if they had more padding in this boot, I think it would be a lot more comfortable because wearing it for about three or four hours, I noticed that because it's so small and thin that my feet would tend to hurt just a tiny, tiny bit. But the caveat is, is this is the insole that I pulled out from this boot, which in comparison is way, way thinner. So don't waste your money on these. Go ahead and get yourself some indestructible shoes. All the links will be down in the description below. Make sure you smash that like button. Also drop a comment. I wanna to talk to you more about these boots and see what you guys think. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. That way you're notified whenever I upload another video. Please share this on your favorite social media. Facebook, Reddit, whatever one you prefer, I would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.